Dr. Lim, what can we do to help these people out in terms of overcrowded buses and trains and irregular arrival of bus and trains? Let's not go into smelly because we can't make them take a shower if they don't want to. <laughs> no, basically, the answer is more, more. Basically, we are asking for more buses, more trains, you know, more networks so that people have choice, have option. So you look sorry, at sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I disagree with that. Mm. Actually, buses are big and unmoved, um, immaneuverable, bulky. Mm -hmm. bulky. They don't navigate lanes very well. Put more buses on the roads, I think that will worsen the traffic jams. So likewise, you have to designate sort of bus lanes, yes. dedicated for buses, <laughs> so that the buses will move. Um, personally, sir, I, should, I, think, I think what we should be concentrating on is how to load these buses more efficiently and faster. That's at four decks, man. Mm. Yeah, four, four decks. Four decks would be interesting. I'll let it go to the top deck. No, but you must understand that with a bigger bus means that people take longer to, uh, to board the bus as well as take longer to alight the bus. So we're basically so, saying, so saying people it's... should take the MRT more and that would be the major way to solve the problem. Uh, so that's provided that the MRT infrastructures can be up and going mm. as fast as they can, but the government has put it, they're building as fast as they can now. Yeah. You know, so if you look at it now, I would say that uh, the circle line will be ready in the next two years. Mm. You know, that will be quite exciting. Mm -hmm.